Hey everybody, it's Eric from the Mature Minded Gamers. Today I'm going to show you how to open a port on your Windows firewall. If you're trying to host a service or a server of some sort, you may find yourself needing to do this. I do want to mention that uh, most routers have firewalls too, and if this doesn't do the trick for you, you probably need to log into your router and open or forward the port there as well. And every router does it a little bit differently, so I'm not going to cover that. But there's lots of guides out there. I recommend Googling it with your router name and model, and you should be able to find something. So what you want to do here is go to your control panel. Everybody should know how to go there. If not, you can search in your little search bar, uh, control panel, and then go to system and security. You want to click on your Windows firewall. And then you want to go to advanced settings over here on the left. And then... I'm going to make this window bigger. You want to go to, uh, we're going to be dealing with inbound rules. Most outbound traffic is going to be allowed, but you can try adding a rule for outbound too. Um, but normally that's not going to be an issue for you. So click on inbound rules, new rule, and then we want to do it by the port. So the second one right here, port, and then you want to hit next. And then you can specify if it's TCP or UDP. Uh, the service that you're trying to open the port should, should tell you which one it uses. Some of them use both, so you, you may have to do both of them. Uh, so we're just going to do a TCP right now. And then you want to specify the ports. We're going to do 8777 is our port. You can do a range here by putting a dash in and say we wanted to do 8778. That would cover both those ports. And then you want to hit next when you have it filled in. And then you want to allow connections or allow if, if secured. Um, I would just do allow if, you, if you're not sure which one to use. Uh, that will allow pretty much anything in. And then this sets for what uh, the rule applies for. Your domain, your private, or your public. And then you get a name it here. This is for an Astro Near server. Put a description in there. I would always make sure you name it something you're going to know what it is later on. Because maybe when you're done you want to block that port. Uh, or remove it. So there you go. That's how you add a port to a Windows firewall. Pretty simple. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below and make sure you hit that follow button and I'll, I will get your question answered as soon as I can. Have yourself a great day.